Just what is it that you want to do? I'm gonna get deep down, deep down, I said. I'm gonna get deep down, deep down. Hey guys, Todd here. Uh, right, today, quick intro. Uh, a while ago, Senyo, uh, from Senyo Mods, um, I was lucky enough to purchase a Senesis, which, uh, if you go along to the site uh, up here, you'll see, or you can go and watch my review, but, but basically it was a stunning rebuildable atomizer. Uh, it had a brass uh, top cap, which was a collar. It wasn't brass inside, it was just a collar. Uh, and, and it well, it was on a Mancos, a brass Mancos mod, and it was just stunning. Um, now, at the time when I bought it, uh, Senyo did say that the, you know he would send me on at some point uh, a dripper that he was designing at the time. And yesterday was that day. It arrived. Unfortunately, I didn't have a mod to put it on because I'd just sold my GP Paps Lux. But uh, thankfully, uh, Matthew, Matt Wood, came to the rescue and sold me his Paps Lux. So today, we now can finish this review. Now, look at that. How absolutely gorgeous is that? Now the thing is about the, the Senyo is it's not a 510 connection. It you take off the top cap of your uh, tube mod, so the the paps here, you take it off and the dripper screws directly in. Um, now oops, this will only work with specific mods. Uh, things like the, the Caravella, the Lux, and the threading is if just yeah it's 20 times one the threading has to be uh, so you've got the Caravella, the Paps, the Gus and I'm sure there's some other ones that have it as well uh, the other benefit is that you're taking a chain out of the connection list if you like you know, you're not screwing into a, a firing pin which is then going down to the battery you're bypassing that you're going straight to the battery um, and it gives you just that clean hybrid look which a lot of us love. Um, now, pricing, the pricing is all on the site. Uh, basically it starts off, it's, it's in Polish uh, Zoltoy, I think it is, if I'm saying it right. And it's very basic, I think it works out at 190, which works out uh, just convert that here, 190 works out at about 39 pounds, but you have to add on your PayPal, your carriage, you know, on top of that as well. Um, and that's it, it's very, very basic. Uh, you can get mixed brass and stainless steel, you can get logos engraved, and these options will put the price up. Um, I'm not going to go through all the pricing, uh, go along to the site. Now, the other thing you'll find in the site is that uh, there are lists. This is not just something you're going to buy. Uh, at this moment in time, the 20th of July, uh, we are stats for the dripper. There's 152 people waiting just now. Uh, 60 of them are ready, but there's still 212 total were going out. Uh, so he does that, he keeps his list updated so you can see exactly where you're going. Anything else I should really tell you just now before I show you the device, there's nothing outside being aware of the threading. You know, this isn't going to just go into any device. Um, that's really it. Right. What I'll do now is... It's just stunning. Sorry, we'll change the camera and we'll just go in for a closer look and uh, show you what it's all about. So here we go, here's a close up look. It really is a beautiful wee piece of gear. Um, and just to point out again, if I've not already mentioned, 
you know, this isn't a 510 connector, it's not going to go straight on to any mod. Uh, because of the thread in here, is it 20 times 20 by 1? Um, you know, this is only going to fit on to like a Caravella or a Paps or anything else that might have that kind of threading. Um, and it just screws on. This is your five. What this is your pin, uh, your live pin. You know you can actually adjust this here. I'll just I'll take it right off. And that panting you can hear in the background. If you guys can hear it, that's my dog. Uh, and there we go. So that's going to make direct contact with the uh, the positive nipple of your battery. Um, I'm just going to screw it right up there just now. So we've got the, the logo, Senio. Uh, now this is just called the dripper. Uh, you know, it's not, you, you've got the Senesis, which is the, you know, the, the high, not the hybrid, rebuildable atomizer. Uh, and this is a rebuildable dripper. Uh, but I'm just going to call it the, the Senio dripper. Uh, now, stainless steel. This is all stainless steel, this one, but you can get them in stainless steel and brass uh, or mixed, even I do believe. And it's the same as the Senesis, you know, if you get the brass, it's actually like, it's like a brass sleeve. You know, the brass doesn't make contact with the juice inside the tank, don't worry about that. Uh, it's just like a brass sleeve or a collar almost. It's 22 millimetres. Uh, this, uh, this is like a brushed finish on this one. And <coughs> excuse me, and I've got the the logo engraved in here. The stainless steel. It's a 1.3 millimeter air hole in this, and I think I'm going to make it bigger. To be perfectly honest, and just pull this off. You know, it's held on with one O-ring, which holds it on nice and tight. You see the machining's spot on, which. You know, the same as the Senesis, it was just, machining was perfect. Um, and go in here, yeah, closely, you got your O-ring there. And this is how you set it up. So this one here, thumb screw. And hopefully I'll come in even closer. You can see just underneath here, you've got the uh, two washers. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see them there. So you've got two washers, you can trap your wire in between that and then just tighten it down. And this one here is Allen key and that one's not big enough. I'll have a, a bigger one somewhere. Uh, I'll be in my toolkit. Uh, but it actually comes with a, you know, Allen key. Uh, to tighten it and loosen it off and it's just same again you've got two washers there and uh, the good thing about this is that uh, you know it's actually sitting off the deck so your your mesh or you know if you go for silica or stainless steel mesh it's going to be sitting off the deck and that's going to let you get more juice in there so you can actually get a bit of stainless steel do a u-wick if you like fire it around there or just use plain old silica and the choice is up to you um, but let's see, it's got a nice wee mesh. It does say that it's going to hold 0.3 of a mil in here. Uh, but we'll see how that goes when I fill it up. But uh, right, so that's everything. That's, uh, the end of the day, it is a dripper. Uh, but the, the big thing about it is it's designed specifically to go onto mods with this threading. And it gives you the, the hybrid look, you know, which so many of us love. Right, this is just uh, my wee basic setup for uh, silica. Yeah, I've just got that's a piece of uh, two point five mil. I've just doubled it over, slapped a coil around there, and uh, taken the the silica back round. And you know, it's a, a one point four ohm, uh, and that'll do me quite nicely. But uh, I'm not actually going to use this with this. I'm going to go for a stainless steel uh, mesh wick and see how I get on with that. Wish me luck. Right, usual, just going to wing it here. I've got a bit of uh, 
stainless steel. I think this is 400 or 500 if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm guessing, but I've just cut it uh, say 55 by 30 millimetres. So 55 by 30 millimetres. This is actually cut in the diagonal. So if you can see that, that's just allow it to, it's going to bend easier if it's cut in the diagonal. I'm just putting it over uh, an unfurled paper clip. And I'm just going to roll it out. Uh, and make a total pig's ear of this like I usually do. Uh, I was never any good at making roll-ups. Not bad at a joint right enough, but there you go. Anyway, um, just rolling that round there. And then, remember, as always, you know, we're staying, making a way, one way tightens and the other way loosens off. So I'm just going to flip this round. I think I'm rolling it the wrong way, to be honest. That's it. I'll just get it to the kind of diameter that I want. I'm just going to roll it up tight. Uh, I'll just have a look here. Yeah, that'll do. That looks about right. And uh, I'll take my paper clip. I'll need a bit. I'm just kind of like bending it into shape here. It's kind of shape I want. So it's going to you know, coil around there. You know, it doesn't matter. As long as I've got that bend there, I can just, you know, I can cut it to size afterwards. So once I've got it bent into shape, <laughs> bent into shape, uh, I'm just going to flame it. Not oxidising it. All I'm doing here is flaming it, and that is just to hold the wick in position. Now I'll give this a sec to cool down. And... Now you could use uh, another one, is a lot of folk use speaker wire and then they can just pull the speaker wire out uh, and keep that shape. But I usually find that, uh, you know, woohoo, that's still hot. You know, I can pull this out. And, you know, it's going to go back into shape no problem because it's already been flamed in that shape. It kind of remembers it, if you like. Let me heat there again. I'll just heat down here a wee bit. That'll do me. Right, let's size this up. So for me, I'm going to want to, that's going to be like there. So I think that's just me gauging where I'm going to cut it, that's all. So, uh, oh God, have I got any sharp scissors or, or anything here? Right, so I'm going to cut this here. And that's going to come round to about here. And hopefully this will do it. Right, I'll go and coil this and that'll be me. So there we go. I'm kind of wrapped up here and hopefully ready to go. Uh, it's really easy to set up this thing. I mean, really easy. And I like the way, you know, you can see it's got the mesh is actually off the deck, you know, the, because of the way the pins are, it keeps it lifted off the deck. And, uh, you know, I can hopefully push, <laughs> push the mesh down so that it's going to pick up the juice from the base. Uh, and would you believe that I've lost the top cap? Only I could lose the top cap for something like this. Uh, oh, no, there we go. And, uh, you know, get the air hole lined up with the, 
coil, bung her on, slap a drip tip on. This is a vape lab one. And that's me, ready to go. Right, let's go and see how this bad boy vapes. Right. simple truth is I'm absolutely smitten with this because of the look the way it looks on a mod a mechanical mod it's just absolutely stunning um, that, that for me is the, the huge thing is the look of the device um, if you have a Vela perhaps or a Gus and you want a dripper um, and you want it to look just so then this is a no-brainer in my opinion is getting a hold of one is getting on that list and uh, just biding your time um i tell you now it's well worth the wait um th the standard air hole for me is a bit in the small side nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it and for the vast majority of folk it'll be fine but uh, for me on a dripper uh, maybe just about a 1.4 1.5 would just do for me and what I am currently vaping so in fact ignore all that the air hole is bang on I'm just smitten I'm totally stuck I've got to stop uh, there's not much else I can tell you about this. I mean, it comes with uh, a little bag of uh, washers and things like that. Um, it comes with a, a shorter uh, pin as well uh, for the base, uh, should you need it. it j right, I'm gibbering. <laughs> I know myself, I am just talking rubbish now. Go along to... Uh, Senior mods hyphen mods the links up here get your name in the list and uh, just prepare yourself for one stunning little dripper uh, and just to give you another close-up look here before i head off i love that i just love it and remember you can get it uh, with a brass which I wish I had a uh, brass top section as well, uh, which would just look absolutely stunning in this. But uh, that's it. That's all I've got to say. I, I can't say anything else. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Senyo himself for sending this on. I did get this free for review. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that smitten absolutely smitten guys thanks for watching as always and uh catch up you soon cheers now bye